Big Ear Heads, Jeff with your report at SHOT Show 2016. I'm here at the ATN booth with Sean, who's going to show us the, the Excite 2. ATN Excite 2. This is a second iteration of the Excite product that came out last year. Uh, the product that you all are familiar with to begin with is a day, digital day-night rifle scope uh, with the capability of recording in 1080p, uh, giving us a, a great optic for day-night operations, but we've decided we're going to go about and improve in this. And with these improvements, we're going to have some new features and some features that are going to blow you away. First off is the recoil activated video system. Instead of having to remember to turn on the recorder, you pull the trigger 10, cents, 10 seconds before and 10 seconds or whatever you custom set afterwards records video. Second one, range finder. We have a built-in range finding system. Huge improvement. People have been asked for that. We delivered on it. Um, seven different uh, reticles, seven different colors, yeah, including a crossbow reticle, which we've had requests for repeatedly. Uh, Wi-Fi out to your device. It's still there. Now you've got a new interface system, the new Obsidian app. The menu systems on board have been improved, easier to work with, easier to see. Big one that's going to be coming out a little bit later on, the ballistic calculator. That's right, we're going to have a system that allows you to punch in your information on your weapon, your round, the atmospherics around you, it'll compensate the shot. This is all built in for a retail price point between $600 for the 314 and uh, 700 MSRP for the uh, 5 to 20. Uh, these you are know, that's a big deal. Spectacular. Th there were rumors going around this was going to be a twelve or thirteen hundred dollar MSRP no, when the close. when the new one came yeah. out. Yeah. Now these we're going to maintain the same price that you saw last Excellent. year. Um, the product is is just such a huge hit last year. Now with all these improvements, we listened to what the folks out there told us they wanted to have on the next iteration. We're doing our best to deliver on that. And of course, with registering the product, you get free firmware updates as we learn about you know. Any kind of uh, improvements we want to do, any kind of additions we want to do, there'll be continuous updates on both the Excite One because we learned things with the Excite Two. We're going to backtrack on some of those. We're going to add some of those features in the Excite One and add improvements to the Excite Two. Excellent. All right, you told us about it. Why don't you show us uh, what sure. we have here? So let's take a look at this uh, screen right here and uh, go through some of the things you're going to see on here. So right off the bat, you notice there's a whole lot more data involved. We've got roll on the left, pitch on the right. Scrolling compass on the top, that's one of the big ones we've asked for as well. Right. The previous compass are sort of rough. You get your range find. We already set a range on there right there at 97 feet. The ballistic calculator at the bottom here is running. It's telling us that we're a half an inch up and a half an inch over off on our target right now. Oh, wow. Huh. Wind speed and, of course, our clock. But here, let's take a look at this real quick. We're going to... All right, let me show people what you're doing yeah, so, here. This is similar to uh, the way the controls worked on the prior yeah. unit. If you use the previous unit, you know the current system, except for we've improved the button responsiveness. Our mount is our mount, but we've allowed it now so you can put on a LaRue or arm-style mount. We've changed the focus from being a ring focus to a turret focus. Yes. It's, you know, it's a functionally effective piece. We have found that that's a far more easier tool to use. This is a huge deal. Big I, deal. I'll tell you, as someone who was hunted with the original site, trying to reach up and turn you that, uh, especially if you have uh, an IR illuminator on, was rather difficult. So that that's huge. Absolutely. The eyepiece. We've improved the eyepiece. The screen resolution inside, which obviously we're going to be tough showing it here, but it's now a 1080. It's a true HD screen inside as well. So the resolution on the screen is light years ahead of the previous one. Oh, you mentioned IR light. I want to bring yes, that up. Yes, yes. We now have a new IR light that we're going to be releasing with it. We've partnered up with a company. We're not going to speak who it is because we've got to keep that partnership. But it's a newer... It's a, <laughs> no, newer, you can tell a, me. Yeah. I'm not going to tell anybody. I'm not going to tell anybody. <laughs> this video is not running at all. But this new IR light uh, is uh, uh, vastly more powerful. We're talking a range of probably pushing out between 175 to 225 yards easily. And it's adjustable. Nice. Throw it on the side of the weapon. Throw it on the side of your scope. You can adjust X, Y axis. That is something that we've all wanted it. We've all shimmed yes, it. But yeah. now it's, it's something that it comes with it. That's also included. So no price change. Better Excellent. light. Excellent. Um, so, yeah, it, just great improvements. Great improvements on the device. Excellent. All right. So let's go back up to the screen. Yeah. You let's were going to show us some stuff. Let's real quick. So here's our new menu system. We've got our night mode, day mode range finder. We can punch in the manual uh, distance entry, our environment. Now you can either do it on here or you can do it from your phone via the uh, Obsidian app. Ah, nice. 
Wi-Fi, RAV system, ballistic calculator, Bluetooth. What's the Bluetooth for? That's coming along, but we're going to have so you can punch <laughs> data directly in from a weather station. Nice. GPS, of course. Are we going to be able to? Are we going to be able to import data from an internet device? You know, from like how about if, from like a, a weather handheld weather station. That oh, pipes neat. Out Bluetooth. Neat. <laughs> System settings. Again, the menus have been vastly improved. We already know we can go black and white on the night vision and yep. or, uh, green and black. All the different options. We can do burst photographs at this point in time, time lapse photographs, so much more. How? Take a look at this. New reticles. Seven different reticles, including crossbow reticles. That's the See if I can get a better angle to get these. Look at that. That, that's the one I've been waiting for right there. Yeah. Yes. And let's say we nice. want to look at a little bit different. Last time the colors were red, green, and black. All right. How about <laughs> yellow, orange, iridescent yes. blue? The uh, the gray and the blacks look really well at the night vision turned on. Yeah. I like it. It's festive. Know. Very festive. Who's coming to shock? All this wonderful stuff's all piped in here. This is what's going to come out shipped with it. The device is just, it's spectacular. It really is a great, great upgrade. And like I said, all the lessons we're learning on this, we're taking back to the x Site 1, so we're not oh. discontinuing support in the x Site 1. Okay, you know, we didn't talk about the other side. There's something meaningful on the other side here that we were just talking about before we started the video that, uh, oh, and it's not on this one. It's I'll, this I'll one go show that in another video yeah, or take so, some stills, but the rubber cap that... Uh, so, yeah, we've got something here where we've got a... Uh, you know, you've got your typical HDMI out. That's how we got the TV running. But you see this this cord assembly. We've had requests to get larger, longer battery life. So what we have here is a cheek rest battery pack aftermarket. Oh yes, more juice. 90 degree bends on the cord, plug in and rubber grommet. Uh, gives you 16 hours of battery life on board the device. Uh, so now we've got onboard batteries. Four to six hours, we got everything turned on. 16 hours with the external battery pack. Excellent. I'm and not this, saying this because I'm at the ATM booth, but you know what? Let, let me tell you guys something. This, this is the fourth fourth day shot yes. show. Seen a lot of stuff here. This is what gets me most excited. It happened again. Look at that. I talk about it. The hair on my arm stands up. This is the one I was hoping to see. It's exceeded all of my expectations so far. What we see at the booth. Um, we're going to get a demo unit for gear report here as soon as it's available, and we'll tell you how it works in the field. But I got to tell you, everything so far looks pretty good. So, Sean, thank you so much you, for Jeff. giving us a tour of this. Uh, I appreciate it. I'm sure all the other folks out there that couldn't be here with us in this vacation that is a shot, show, shot show, um, you know, they're going to appreciate this as well. So, right. thanks. Jeff, thank you very much.